Hello, welcome back to the next episode of Coach's Corner. Today we'll be talking about a couple of different concepts out of the Win T, the Belly and the Counter Series. Okay, the Belly and Counter Series is a basic part of the Win T formation and of the Win T offense. Um, it's kind of an ISO play by design, but what we're going to do is we're going to look at it. And so some of you youth guys, this play may help you. Some of you high school guys may be able to use some of these concepts. All right, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to draw it up out of a base wing formation. Okay? All right, out of my base wing formation, I'm saying a true formation. We got a receiver out here. We got a receiver out there. We're going with a wing, a slot, all right, and a fullback. We're going to go first against a 40 front. All right, first our 40 front, we'll put it in there. We'll put a nose, a tackle, an end. We'll get a back. We'll play a true 40. These guys are going to play tight in the box, but that's kind of what the wing T is. All right, now off of this wing tee, the special thing about it is it's sort of an ISO play, okay? So we want to base block here, base block your man here, okay? We're blocking here to here, working up to the next level, cut him off, and we're going to base block here. Now the key in the backfield, your wing back, your strong side back, he's going to roll inside and block the play side inside linebacker, okay? Full back, we're running straight in through. Inside dive play, okay? He's your ball carrier here. Now, the key, all right, for holding this guy, you're going to say, oh, we'll keep this guy from folding, okay? Well, here, we're going to run the option fake off of it. And that gives us the belly play. That's our belly play against the 40 front, okay? Not bad. It looks pretty good. Solid play in the run game. I've seen a lot of teams gain a lot of yards running this concept, okay? Running this concept. Now, off of the belly, which is more the ISO play and, and that play, you come with the counter. That's why it's more of a series, okay? Now, we're going to talk about the same play. We're going to run it against the 30 front, okay? We're going to run this against 30 front, all right? So, all right, versus the 30 front, there's a slight adjustment with the wing, all right? So, versus the 30 front, how it work is same formation offensively, all right? Wing, fullback. Slot, all right? Versus your 30 front, you have an in there, nose, in. You got your edge players here, all right? Now, versus our 30 front, it's a, it's a little bit different concept. Sometimes this guy can be an all-the-time edge rusher, like in a 50 front, always coming, so that's kind of hard. You got to kind of game plan that by how you play that. Other times, this guy's a kid. They can play a flat player or something like that on the front side. Either way, I got a block here. We're going to solid that there, lock there. It's going to look bunched up on the inside, okay? We're going to take that. It's going to look bunched up. But I got to work inside as a wing. I can, I got to be inside of that guy. Got to be inside of that guy because that's what's going to create our alley. Like I said, as we run through here with the fullback, that's going to create our alley. Now we got to see if they bring him down or them down because we can make an adjustment and fan block out. And now bring the fullback all the way inside if we have to. So there are adjustments also that have to be made out of the wing tee and just like out of the spread, just like out of different offenses. So here it is versus the 30 front, okay? Now what we'll do is we'll come back and we'll talk about the counter. Welcome back. Now we're going to talk about the counter, okay? Let's talk about the counter versus the 40 front. All right, here we go. Oh, got the wrong camera. All right. We want to work our same ace formation, okay? Work our same ace formation, wing, slot, fullback. Here we go. All right, here's our 40 front. We got an end, we got a nose, we got a tackle, we got an end, we go backer, we go backer, we go our overhang, our outside backer. All right, now, versus the counter is a different concept. We use the same thing <coughs> that we do when we're blocking. Belly, so we're making it look like belly. All right, we're going to block there. All right, we're going to block here to here. All right, these guys, we're going to block them down. He's going to elevate, okay? Now, our guard is going to pull back side, kick out the end. Fullback is coming downhill, replacing, replacing that guard. So when that guard pulls out, he's coming down here, replacing. Running backs coming around, the slots coming around the back like we do as we carry our fake. And as the quarterback opens up, 
And he's coming up with three steps back, and he's coming back getting the ball underneath. Quarterback doing the same outside. This is our counterplay versus the 40 front. And it's pretty tricky. It gets in there. This guy, if he folds up, it gets it too far. He may fold in, but if he makes that tackle, that's a four-yard gain. I mean, we, we'll take that. You know, but if you get the belly going and it gets going, the counter is a good option coming back. It comes back in and, and, and it makes a good play. I've seen big plays hit off of this. Um, and, and it's a good multi-directional play. You also can do the same thing and kind of block man on. I've seen it a couple ways. But we block man on and we take this guy and we block him to the next level with that. Just to keep it simple and not have to teach kids the different pull techniques. Okay, so now here we go against the 30 front. All right. All right, versus our 30 front, it's a few different things, and, and, and we can work it, we can work it out as such. Okay. All right. Here we go here. Get back to our formation. Now, we can run the same formations with the, these guys in, tight end, double tight, however you want to call it, the double wing. You can run the same formation, gives you extra blocker, but you now have an extra edge player, which is there. Okay, out of our 30 front, let's go here. All right, we got our guys. All right. Tough part about this, 50, is that now here, okay, Depending on these guys, but like we said, um, in talking to Bell, these guys can be edge guys, so we can take in the fact that we can lock down and then kick this guy and go a whole wider, which may help us in the long run. So how we'll play that is, okay, we'll block him here, all right? Stay locked on there, okay? We'll block here, we'll block there. Fullback still coming to his guy, okay? He's coming up to block that. We got to arc around. That's how we work it. Okay. Bring our puller. Kick the backer. All right. Boom. Boom. A few different ways it can hit. A few different ways it can hit. Working off of that. Okay. Now, some guys now off of the counter, they may not move this guy. You'll see the guys do this and come here. Or... You'll see him stay here, and he'll block man on, and maybe they will climb this guy, and now kick the tackle. You know, like I said, it's going to be tight, so if he kind of bought it, we'll just wash it on down, and now there is a simple crease there. Keeping this still open for an underneath play. Misdirection play. These are the quick hitting play. All right, strong quick hitting play. Oh, man, it makes a lot of plays that will help you out at the youth level and at the high school level. At the youth level, you can keep it simple on the line and kind of block it the same way as belly, but then add um, the kind of movement off of that. Um, but uh, thank you for joining us today. Uh, we'll see you next time.